New tonight, body camera video showing the moment deputies take down a murder suspect. The man is accused of murdering three people in Orlando, including a TV reporter and a little nine-year-old girl. This new video shows the suspect struggling, and then deputies actually pull a gun out of his pocket, one of the deputies saying, it's still hot. The suspect is Keith Moses, 19 years old. Out front now is Orange County Sheriff John Mina. Sheriff, a lot of questions from so many people about all of this. There are three different crime scenes that you're having to deal with here. Let's start with the news crew that was shot. Are you getting any sense that they were targeted? No, and I went out to the scene and what I saw was an unmarked uh, news vehicle. So it did not appear to be a news vehicle. Uh, also, there's also information that uh, the camera um, that the videographer had was locked and secured in the trunk. Um, additionally, Keith Moses walked by another news crew uh, and that news crew vehicle was marked. So it's unclear why uh, he shot at this news crew. And so that's one of the things that we're trying to figure out. Yeah. And after he shot the news crew, Moses then goes into a nearby home. That is where he allegedly shot a woman and her nine-year-old daughter. As I mentioned, of course, the little girl died. Do you know why he shot them? What the relationship is there? So, and at this point, we're still trying to figure out if he was at that house before oh. or after he shot the journalist. And we're still trying to see what the connection was to that house. Uh, you know, but like I said, I mean, there is absolutely no excuse uh, for this violence. And certainly, you know, who would turn a gun on a nine-year-old child that obviously poses no type of threat? Yeah, I mean, and kind of overall, there's clearly a lot of investigation that must be done still. But do you have any theory or mo do any motive of why this all started with the first woman being killed and why it escalated the way that it did? Yeah, I know that when he killed the first woman, he was actually picked up by um, his cousin who was driving the vehicle that the 38-year-old 38 vic 38 victim was in. Um, you know, during interviews, uh, he did say that uh, Keith Moses felt down about something. Um, so, you know, no idea what the motive is. Like I said, he would not talk to us. He fought with hospital staff um, after he claimed he couldn't breathe. Then he also struggled with detectives in the interview room and but would not talk to us so it's unclear exactly what his motive was i was going to ask you <laughs> after seeing the struggle on that body camera video if he's been cooperative at all um obviously you've got some work to do to get to get him to give you anything it sounds like yeah that's correct you see in the body cam video um you know he was uncooperative he did not obey any commands uh, to get down on the ground he had to be taken to the ground and uh you know we actually had to cut his pants off to retrieve the firearm that was uh concealed in his pants and then of course he was uncooperative uh and struggled at the hospital uh, and uncooperative did not speak at uh the sheriff's office here and so we're, we're still not sure what his motive was why he did this and uh, but we want to find out because I, I know the community wants to know. I know our media partners at News 13 want to know. And certainly the family of that nine year old girl want to know. It's so inexplicable. And also it just also feels so brazen. I mean, just the, as you said, he walked past a marked news crew car before then he happened upon this unmarked news car. I mean, the photographer, Jesse Walden, who was shot and was recovering in the hospital, he put out a statement today, Sheriff, and said, I lost one of my best friends, Dylan, yesterday. I was shot and now I've had surgery and I'm okay. And thank you all so much for your well wishes. Has he been helpful um, in, with investigators? Yeah. That's correct. So he was talking to our detectives last night uh, kind of giving us information, telling us what's going on. So he's he's been very helpful. And, you know, we're, we're thankful that he was able to survive and, and seems to be um, recovering well from what I can tell. But he's been very helpful during the investigation. All right, well, a lot more questions and a lot more work to do. Sheriff, thanks for the time tonight.